It is an undescript brown box, and that can mean only one thing. It is time for the August edition of the My Box, uh, the Japanese monthly snack box thing from Something Japanese, which I shall leave a link to in the description below. Um, yes, yeah, so this marks my third month, uh, although my second video, because I video messed up with the first one. Um, yeah, and I signed up for a three-month thing, so this is going to be the last of my My Box videos for a while. More on that at the end of the episode, but uh, as with the other ones, let's just crack into this, shall we? Um, yeah, so not sure what to expect with this one. Um, I'm guessing lots of summery kind of things. I'm looking forward to seeing what the drink is particularly, and I just saw a small hint of one thing, which is a milky. Um, right, so, let's just go ahead and put my hand in stuff. Uh, some of these will have descriptions on the back, some of these won't. So, first up, we have a pack of milky, which is a kind of chewy sweet, uh, with a kind of milky taste to it, as you'd imagine, and that is their mascot. So, shall we guess what this is? That's all, um, that's all kanji, apart from kisu, or ekisu. Um, but I can feel a sticker on the back, so it'll tell us it is Milky Candy Sakura Peach. So, presumably it tastes of Sakura Peach. Um, I'm not fully sure what Sakura Peach tastes like, to be honest. Um, I may have had something flavoured after Sakura Peach before, but... I'm guessing it's kind of just a Japanese version of a peach, maybe? Um, I like peach flavoured stuff, I'm definitely up for that. Also, milky is really nice, it's quite, um, it's got quite a unique sort of taste to it. Yo, what is this? This looks interesting, maybe? Um, so it, it feels like rock candy and it says, Pachi Pachi Panic, or Pachi Pachi Paniku. Um, yeah, so presumably this is like, I don't think there's even, okay, there's nothing on the back, that's, that's always a good, wait, no, there is, is there? Okay, it's cola popping candy, um, it does kind of annoy me that whilst the labels are useful, because you know what flavour they are and what it is, um, that clearly says patchy patchy panic, so you think they'd like, add that, just to kind of define, but yeah, this is kind of like, you know, rock candy, kind of crackles in your mouth or whatever. Um, man, it's been a while since I've had crackly candy, actually. Ooh, I feel a very small thing. Is this a Hello Kitty? Yes, it is. It's a Hello Kitty... maybe chocolate thing? Or maybe kind of, um... candy kind of thing, anyway. I haven't eaten last month, actually. I'm midway through filming the snack review, so... Keep an eye out for that. That'll be out in a couple of weeks or ever. Next up, we have something that's upside down. Ooh, these look like, uh, so I'm going to say this is cheesecake bites or something. They look a bit like party gems, don't they? Like biscuity things with some um, kind of hard uh, stuff on top. And that says, Take no ko no something. I don't know what that says. And that says, Berry cake or berry cakey. Um, so I'm guessing W, what? W, ooh, berry cakey, don't know what that says. But we do indeed have a sticker on the back again. This is Takenoko no Sato Cookies Strawberry Cake. Um, yeah, so they're cookies apparently. Oh, hang on, wait. Oh, okay, no, sorry, that's just how the package opens. I thought there was a weird gimmick with the box there. But this is the 40th anniversary, presumably, of these things. They're interesting cookies, unless this is an American cookies, in which case they're actually biscuits, which is what we call them in the UK, but admittedly I recognise now the biscuits are something different in the US. And they're something you have with gravy. Um, oh, hello. Ah, now I think this might be... Is that... Oh, Sakeru. Is it Sakeru? Uh, gummy, I think. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So it's like a long... Um, a long kind of strip of candy or whatever, or... Hey, there we are, Sakeru Gummy, I was right. Sakeru Gummy Candy Strawberry. So yeah, it's like one of those long strips of candy that's maybe a bit sour. Um, they're usually sour, I've never had one that wasn't, actually. And there feels 
quite a bit in here. There might be like three rolls or something, which is pretty decent actually. Um, yeah, very interesting. I've not had many sake roux products before. I'm going to heighten this for a second. There we go, I can fit more into frame now. And also you get a bit of a peek into the box. So I'm going to fold that back over so we don't spoil it. Hey, we've got some high chew. Especially after last month where we didn't really have high chew. It was like by a different company. Um, I don't know, I, I'm, I, I like myself. Ooh, and this is... Um, Grape? Wait, I think I've had this flavour before. Sorry, I just had like a flash of nostalgia. Nostalgia? I don't think that's the right word. But from like last year or something, I'm sure I had one of these in a Japan crate. This is... Okay, yeah, it's just grape flavour. Um, so I think the one I had last year was like a particular grape or like peeled grape or something from a particular island in Japan. This seems to be the more like generic general grape flavour, but I'm I'm never unhappy with haichu. Um it lasts you ages, because sort of after one piece of haichu, it's you're you're kind of good for uh for a while. Hey, there we are. So um actually this ooh, this featured in my uh recently uploaded snack review, which you're welcome to all go and watch. Um so yeah, basically I've eaten this, it's pretty decent chocolate and there's some like white chocolate and a chocolate dinosaur um you have to like break the outer chocolate around without snapping this or something it's kind of interesting and it comes with six different varieties last time i had the iguanodon uh I'd quite like any of the other ones now the mystery one's a mammoth apparently so I quite like that um i might i well i probably won't feature this in my snack review because i've already done it um but i might like briefly mention in my next snack review what I got in this as in what dinosaur it was maybe have a look at it but it's going to be the same it's, it's decent chocolate it's a crunchy chocolate and like in the kind of white chocolate topped thing hey we've had one of these before as well this um this featured in my last snack review as well it's kind of like a chocolatey biscuit thing it's got a biscuit inside and there's like regular milk chocolate and there's like marzipan-y kind of stuff on it as well it was all right and then i you know I'm, I'm not hyped to see it but i'm not mad to see it either oh hey i think i've had fits before yeah um this seems to be uh, watermelon flavor so fit yo yes i know okay i did have fits before years ago this is man this is probably before i made videos on it or when i just started but i had an orange pack of fits that had uh, Goku and Vegeta on from Dragon Ball Z, and that was really cool. This is Fitz Chewing Gum Watermelon Flavour. As you can kind of tell with the packaging, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're quite nice. They're kind of like strips of gum and stuff. We have, we have similar gum over here, obviously, but, you know, it's nice. And honestly, I love me some watermelon flavoured stuff. Um, of all of the, like, fake fruit flavours you can get for sweets. Watermelon is definitely up there for me. Ooh, and we have a Kit Kat. Um, literally a Kit Kat because it's a cat. Um, cool. I don't know what that says because that's all kanji as well. Um, that is some Kana there. Choto something something she. Uh, that is, that is kanji unfortunately. I, oh, okay. Hang on. E. This is Yokan Orange Kit Kat. Very interesting. I'm guessing Yokan is either a variety of orange or maybe a a place in Japan, possibly. Um, because Kit Kat kind of do a weird thing in Japan where they'll team up with, you know, small towns or villages or whatever in Japan and kind of, you know, theme their Kit Kats about their specialty kind of fruits or whatever which is interesting you know very interesting uh next up we have a strawberry kit kat i believe this is just regular strawberry i think this came in last month's crate as well uh not complaining to be fair like it it's very rare i've had a bad japanese kit kat this is indeed kit kat strawberry chocolate so yeah um pretty, pretty standard stuff it's sort of uh, if you've had Japanese Kit Kat, you know how good they are. Um, and strawberry, even though it's kind of a generic flavour and stuff, I'm very happy to have. And our last one... Is, ooh! 
It's Sanrio-themed Bill Chocolate. Um, I say Sanrio and not just Hello Kitty, because I don't know what the name of that character... Wait a second, is that the Milky Girl as well? What? Yo, this is quite the intense crossover. Okay, I'm glad we kept this to last. Um, is this like bubblegum or something? Ichigo Parai Chocolate, I think. Ichigo Parai... Parai... Chocoretto. I think. Uh, I could be wrong there. Thankfully, though, there is a sticker on the back that'll explain. Ah, this is Peko and Sanrio Strawberry Chocolate. So I think uh, Peko is the Milky Girl. Or, well, I don't know. Maybe it's not just Milky. It's from the brand Peko, maybe? Maybe that's her name. That's the brand. I do not know. Um, and yeah, and Sanrio characters. Very interesting. So we did get some Strawberry Chocolate last crate as well. Um, you like strawberry on top of chocolate but this does seem kind of different in some regard very interesting i will be opening it up i think it sounds like actually they're smaller because last month's was like a slab a singular slab but this sounds like there's lots of character heads as in like this hello kitty small bits of chocolate or whatever which is what that is showing off actually probably very interesting ah wait Okay, so maybe like you break them off or something. I'm not fully sure what it's even telling me there. But uh, when I crack it open, I will be able to tell you guys. So stick around for the next probably two um, snack reviews. Because the next snack review is going to be last month's uh, stuff. Because I'm still going through that. Um, and we do indeed. Oh, okay, let me put that to the side for a second. Let me check we don't... Okay, there's nothing there. Uh, let me move that to the side. Let me put this there. We have a drink, and I don't mean to excite you guys, but this feels like a bottle of Ramune. Now, I am a sucker for Ramune. I... I don't know, I... <gasps> Yo! Hell... <laughs> okay, wow. That is, um... That is quite the coincidence. So I've got an upcoming video, actually. Uh, stay tuned for that, but... Um, because free shipping was only like a pound more than the item I bought, I decided to treat myself with a bottle of Ramune. And I, so I bought one that was um, bubblegum flavour. This is bubblegum flavour, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, never mind. Uh, it's, it's actually blueberry. Uh, blueberry. Uh, right, okay, cool. I was wrong. Then um, I will be having two different flavours and forget my previous anecdote. Hey, there we are. A bottle of Ramune is always pleased. Uh, for those of you who don't know, who've somehow joined in on a Japanese snack video without knowing what Ramune is, under here, uh, when you peel this off, is like a plastic thing and also a marble ball that when you press it down will kind of stay here between this very thin bit of glass here um, and it'll shake back and forth basically and like when you go to drink it'll stop there and it'll me it sort of stops the water and um, the the liquid coming out really quickly and kind of like causes bubbles to stream behind it it's very cool and um i i kind of collect ramune bottles because they're so well made and like just fun to rattle really but yeah, this is um, the like generic Ramune kind of brand or whatever you, you'll see in a lot of like Asian stores and stuff. I don't think I've ever had uh, blueberry actually though, so that is really cool. Um, I do have a bubblegum flavour on the way as well, so I'll probably throw that into my uh, next snack review or the one after it. So keep an eye, you know, out for that. Anyway, I'm gonna go put these all in like a you know pleasing manner, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and I've laid everything out. So that about wraps up my uh, journey with the My Box. And honestly, the spread this month has been pretty darn good. Ramune is uh, looking very interesting. I'm excited to try that. The back three things as well, the Milky, the Fruit Roll-Up and the um, Cookies. Very excited to try those. The Sanrio thing is very cute. Everything overall is pretty darn good. Um, and that's how I think I'd rate a my box in general. Pretty good. Um, as you'll know if you follow the channel, I've had three different um, Japanese snack boxes now from three different companies. And I've got to say, I think a my box comes third. It's 
there's just something about it that is like, it's nice. Uh, and what it offers for value of money and stuff, it's great. But I think there is just that slight level of care that isn't there when compared to the other two crates. One of the things, and I know it's a really small thing, and maybe it's for an environmental reason, but one of the things that does irk me a little bit is um, they don't give you a leaflet about these snacks, and instead they'll just give you labels on the back of them. And while that's okay, it does kind of lose a bit of the charm, because I kind of like finding out about Japanese snacks along with having them. I kind of like learning, and I'm sure I could look them up online and do my own research or ever, but... It's nice to hear, for example, why has Sanrio joined up with the Milky People? What happened there? Was there a big campaign in Japan? I don't know. I'll never know. I could search it, but I'm not that interested, if that makes sense. And, you know, same for all of these things. Also, again, not meaning to nitpick here, but I'm kind of seeing repeats of some snacks from the previous month. Uh, most notably those two and the little snacks. I've had them before. And while there's nothing wrong with that, I, you know, I do kind of assume that mystery boxes will kind of keep it fresh every month, so I don't know. Again, though, these are very small little picks. Um, I, I've, I've enjoyed my time with the my box, but I'm not going to go back with them. Um, I have had another suggestion in the comment section, so I'm going to look into that. It's a little bit pricier, but I'll see how I feel about it. I may give it a three-month go again. I'm also looking into other options, of course, now that um, more countries are opening up their borders again to like send things out, there's more potential for me to get more interesting boxes and stuff. But anyway, if any of you guys do have other suggestions in the comments, please let me know, because there's no such thing as too many suggestions, so let me know if you've heard of any interesting subscription boxes or whatever. And that about wraps up the video. Um, as always, I'll be reviewing most of these things. I say most of them because obviously four of them I'll have already reviewed. But for the rest, I shall be reviewing them. So stick around on my channel every like month or so. I'll do a snack review wrap-up thing where I, I, I eat about seven or eight snacks and compile them into a video or whatever. And that's about it. So uh, until next video, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.